first meeting of the season between the NBA finalists last year and the Phoenix Suns with a 64-56 lead over the Bucks, a game that has had 18 lead changes and nine ties. As we welcome you to the American Express Halftime Report from Studio J in Atlanta, Ernie Johnson, Charles Barkley, Ken the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, let's jump right into some numbers from the first half and uh, see how things have played out so far. Giannis and Drew Holiday combining for 27 of the Milwaukee 56 points. DeAndre Ayton came out of the gate with a 10-point first quarter. He and Chris Paul combining for 24 of the 64 Phoenix points. And Shaq's got his eye on the bigs for Phoenix. You know, DeAndre Ayton and all the other bigs, but DeAndre Ayton is one of my favorite bigs. I like him here. So he's doing a great job of taking advantage of the you know, mismatch. Right here, it's going to be a mismatch. Right there, post up, post up strong, get the ball, go to do whatever move you got. He likes that turnaround right here. I felt he should have went quick, but he made a great pass, get somebody else involved. Right here, hey, I'm not going to do anything, just roll to the basket, play hard, play aggressive, play my game. Don't always just, you know, focus on the jump shot. And this guy right here, JaVale McGee, with the hell of an awkward move that went in. But look, they're playing good, they're playing great. Phoenix is up right now, they're motivated. You know, they're saying, okay, Milwaukee, it was a close matchup last year. Giannis hit us for the 50 piece. Giannis, you're not getting 50 today, and we ain't scared of y'all. And the Phoenix Bigs are playing great basketball. Yeah. JaVale McGee, I mean, has kind of reinvented his career. He's been a very effective player after for a long time, just being the guy that you would say, JaVale McGee. Um, <laughs> in, I think. In a segment that you used to. Yeah, but you still run. No, but I think when he went to uh, Golden State and you know started playing with those guys, they they taught him how to be a champion. And look, uh, ever since you know we had that little riff, I haven't had much out of him. And he's playing great. I'm happy for him. I'm proud of him. And the fact that he has more Charles and rings, I mean more rings than Charles, just <laughs> tickles me. Well, I'm not sensitive to that. Well, I am. I mean, if I he am. gets yeah, more you than are. you, that doesn't mean he's a better player. No, trust me, I'm yeah. not. Yeah. I, my my you life sense is you yeah. said I'm not sensitive. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hey, I'm, I'm right, not sensitive about my weight. No, 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 you're right. no, no. Because no, no. well, people, I people think, listen, there's a lot of guys who got rings who are bombs. Let's right. get that out the way. Like who? Well, that's sensitive. Uh, right. I'm just letting you know. No, 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 no. They're just bombs. They are riding in the back of the bus. They might as well be Rosa Parks. Okay. Just let me say. This. Oh, no, I no, think no. that Milwaukee Bucks made a they realized they were too small. I think with Lopez being out, I think that's went out why they went out and got Surge uh, Surge today. And I think it's really gonna help them because they are small without Lopez down low. Even Bobby Porters, who plays somewhat like a big guy, he's really a perimeter guy. But at some point, if you just keep playing against bigger teams, they will especially you got Joel in the Eastern Conference, you got him. You got to go through him to get to the finals. Uh, so I think it was a great pickup by the Bucks today.